Welcome to Accountants Law Pod, where accounting professionals and law firms converge. Hosted by Linda Artisani, Sarah Prevost, and Stephen Lippart. Welcome back to the podcast, everyone. And this week, we're going to kind of do a little recap of where we've come from, where we're headed. Really just a thank you show to thank everybody who's been listening to us over this 24-week journey and do a little check-in, talk about some of the conferences we're going to be going to, and really kind of go through our journey of where the Law Pod started started, and where we're going to. I know Rhode Island just came out of my mouth, and this it time- came out so strong. came right out. So we have Tierra with us. She's our producer. She's the gorgeous lady behind the screen. And um, Tierra, why don't you give us some of our stats and maybe um, tell us a little bit about what you do in the job behind the behind the golden curtain that we wish you had in front of you and you could have pulled it aside and come through, but but tell us about it. I know I'm a lot more comfortable behind the curtain here. (laughs) You are not Miss Actress. No way. (laughs) I'm not a podcaster, but I am, yeah, the producer director, I suppose, of the Accountants Law Pod. And I, I do everything behind the scenes. I do scheduling and launching the episodes and creating the reels and shorts and writing show notes and chatting with all of our wonderful guests and getting, you know, these three corralled together and started on, on our podcast episodes. And it's just, it's been such a blast. It's been such a learning experience. I've, I've only worked on one podcast before. So when Sarah and Linda came to me and they said, this is what we want, I said, oh, okay, (laughs) let's let's make it happen. So this is, yeah, my first time being on with you guys and it feels such an honor. And it's been so, so fun to see this podcast take off and see how it's grown. I'm, I'm behind the scenes in the, in the analytics and the numbers every day. And I cannot believe that we, you know, we, our first episode went live June 1st of this year, 2023, and we are already at 1300 downloads. Um, just oh, that. there was a need Celebrate. for it. Apparently, <laughs> there was a need for this podcast. Right? There, this topic. That's a good point, <laughs> Linda. Really yeah, I think great. so. And I love seeing which topics grab people's attention. I that you can clearly see there's a need for information from from within the legal space. But mm-hmm. we've also been so fortunate to have up to this point, just some incredible guests on the podcast. And those episodes, you can see they're doing really well. People are really loving to learn from our friends and colleagues that we've had the honor of having on the podcast so far. The YouTube channel is also really taking off. It's a fun space over there. So if you haven't checked out YouTube, go watch the videos and just, it's a whole new level getting to watch the three of you interact. You can hear it in the podcast, but getting to watch the three of you on on screen and with our guests is just really, really special. So we have come such a long way in a short amount of time, and I'm really excited to see where we go from here. And I'm honored to be a part of it. So you really are our girl behind the scenes because you not only you handle everything. So it's not just the little, little things. It's a lot Mm -hmm. of little things like you Mm -hmm. handle a lot of the not just the SEO, but you also handle a lot of the advertising and and promotion of it, which that's a testament to you that we've got these numbers because the numbers just kind of blow our mind. Don't you think, Steve? Absolutely. I mean, we're looking at, we're averaging about 56 downloads per episode right now. And that's in 24 weeks. So that's pretty cool. And, you know, I just... Steve's KPI, by the way. That's my KPI. I'm going to be watching this. We have numbers. We love our numbers. We love our numbers. Absolutely. And you know, this podcast, I I, I just want to say how grateful I am that that I get to be a part of this. This is huge in my life. And you know, Sarah and Linda approached me way back in the spring and said, let's do this. And I'm like, okay, and here we are. And, uh, and Tiara, you know, just thank you to you guys for making this happen. And we, we all have different people that we bring into the podcast. And what's really cool is our podcasts are not tailored to how to's. It's, it's an open dialogue like we're doing right now. And people seem to really find appeal in that. And as you know, I travel a lot in the spring, summer, and fall, and it's just been a blast. 
this last summer to be out in my airstream somewhere on the planet. And I have, I go, Oh my gosh, podcast half an hour. We got to record. And I run home and I get showered and I get ready and I sit down and there we are. And I'm in the middle of a forest somewhere. I mean, how grateful am I that I get to do that with my work? And one of the things that I've been doing with the podcast that I want to share with everybody out there, the impact it's had on me with all these recordings is when I have a client who's stuck on something and I go, oh, we talked about that in our podcast. And I'll tell them, go to episode so-and-so and watch that. And it backs up what I'm saying. And then they get back to me and they're like, thank you for that. This is so cool. And then they become a follower. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I'm coming from a space of gratitude here. I can't thank you guys enough for being, we're a family here now. And this mm -hmm. just means so much to me. Thank you. Our and recording Sarah sessions are just such a bright spot in my day. I love when the four yeah. of us get together. It's it's been honestly having a, this dream that I wanted way back when. I was going to say that you wanted this for a long time. For a long, Linda's heard me talk about it she, before <laughs> we met. Like before we even started together, I've been wanting this and to have this come to fruition and to be with the right mix of people and and really enjoy the conversation. It's an testament to kind of where we are in our own professions. And I appreciate that because I love, I, I'm enjoying this and learning about um, all the different things from wealth management to yeah. opportunities that we can dive in deeper on, on how to manage on the business side to the personal side, the health and wellness side. And I have to say, in order for us to keep this going too, the the thing that we love the most is is thank you to all that has liked, subscribed and participated in this and we we need more of that the share the like subscribes in order to keep this going we are so honored as to where we are and we kind of just did a soft it's almost like we did like this pilot thing and we're starting to feel the momentum we're kind of getting into our maturity of like a more of like a hard launch type of thing I guess you could say or more like a formalized we've been doing this we're getting our sea legs Linda keeps us structured with our topics like when she's not around I, I deliberately do things differently because we want to have her absence felt. <laughs> Mom's not watching. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> no, I, I guess I could say. But also just like have a different anything. dive on it because I want I'm it just to. Just a planner and you guys whisper. are like, yeah. that's just going. It's like, oh, no. <laughs> yeah, we can do spontaneity. We can do oh, spontaneity. Oh but that's the popcorn spunk style to all of us. And I, I love that about, I mean, we genuinely enjoy each other's opinions, thought processes, and, and working through things. So thank you for everyone that's listening. And thank you to the four of you, the three of us, the four of us are all here for really driving this. So I appreciate I was it. I'm telling Steve a story of, I think last week, earlier this week, time means nothing to me most days, but I remember being in college and working a retail job and thinking, you know what I should do with my life? What I, what I should do for work is I need to be an assistant. Because I need to help people grow their businesses and reach their dreams and chase their dreams. And so out, I'm sure a lot of people know this, but outside of the law pod, I am Linda and Sarah's executive assistant for their company, The Proper Trust. And so to not only get to be a support to that business and to the two of you is just honestly such a dream come true. But then Sarah, to see that you have this dream of this podcast and get to be a part of growing that and helping you reach that is just such a gift to me. Because if anyone remembers the Ben Day episode, when he talks about the disc test, I am a hundred percent, I'm a support <laughs> person. <laughs> and so this has just been so much fun to get to help you bring this dream to fruition. Yeah. And I'm really curious, where do you see it going from here? What are your, what are your next goals? What's, what's next? Oh my goodness. Well, the evolution of the way, I mean, Linda's the, our marketing genius, right? The evolution of the way that things are moving. Um, I do see us, you know, helping us build, I, I see it in more of an ecosystem of business owners, balancing work life in, in a way that's what we face, not what people are shoving down our throats and saying, you got to have work-life balance. Okay. <laughs> or like Linda and I, we have to give up sometimes moments of time, maybe on a weekend or, a, or an early morning or a late night to finalize something for the ease of use for the workday to be available to help grow the business or to save time in other things. It's a balancing act. 
Um, we should so, do a podcast recording on that subject at set alone. Yeah, but I, I feel like the the way technology and Linda speaks to this really well, AI, what she sees happening down the pike, and Linda, I feel like you should chime in here. But I, I do yeah. think that this we we are flexible enough. We have a niche that we want to serve, but we are flexible enough to grow. And we can see where that that journey takes us. I've always kept an open mind, open heart. That's how I feel about things. So what do you think, oh, Linda? For sure. Like with AI, you know, it's so easy to be afraid of what's coming or to look at it in the perspective of it's going to take over the world. And I've had some <laughs> of these discussions with people that, you know, I hope they remember to put the off switch on and things like that. And I think that you can't really look at it like that. You have to look at it as how is it going to make my life easier? How is it going to improve what we do? And how am I going to change my skills and work to upskill myself to get to what I need to know? We're going to be talking to the machines. I, I told this to my husband. I said, you know how you type like this? That's mm-hmm. going to be a gone away, which he's terrible. He never took typing because his mother told him the secretary will do it. I said, well, she was wrong on that one. So you know, you really need to have those skills. And what we're going to be doing is actually verbally communicating, but we it's like a different language. You need to learn the language. And the only way you're going to learn it is to play with it. AI right now is at a place where you, you can already do this. And I really highly recommend get on the free chat GPT and start playing around with yeah. trying it out, looking at the results and then improving the results. And you can do that with your marketing and it will save you a ton of time. That's the part I'm blown away by is I know what it took me to do a po- uh, a blog post years ago, and I might have been working with you, Tierra, and it was like six hours. It took me to write the post, draft the post, write it, do the video, put it all together. It was a six-hour thing that I did on the weekend to get my once-a-week post out. Yeah. And now I can do it in probably less than an hour. Yeah. So that's a huge improvement. And it all depends on how what you're doing, what the post is, how long the post is, I'm obviously, but uh, you can write it have G- chat GPT improve it. Uh, you mm-hmm. can do the videos. Now you can have ch- um, mid journey, make your, the, the, the images for it. You don't even have to think about that where before you, I would try to think of something kind of cool to go with my topic. So it's not just business people all day long. It doesn't catch somebody's eye. Those are the things that you're going to be able to do that are more, you don't have to think about it as hard. So mm-hmm. now if I'm not thinking about it as hard, how am I going to redirect my brain for what the, what you do need? Because it's always going to need that s- set of eyes on it, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Always that final mm-hmm. viewing of in our brain input. Should we so, should we write to ask Chat GPT how do we celebrate um, where we are at with our podcast? <laughs> well, we, we are celebrating when we get to QuickBooks Connect. So we are going to be speaking yes. at QuickBooks Connect, which is coming up. Uh, this is going to be coming down. Uh, we're going to actually put this show in on Thursday before connect and we're bringing our whole staff to quickbooks connect that's huge she's going to hang out with us actually we're going to all be together in the same space Mm -hmm. but we are speaking together the three of us and um i'm sure tiara will be in the audience so if you want her autograph you can get it Um, (laughs) but um you we're going to be speaking on the legal tech stack so we're going to go in and talk about what we use what we what we tell the attorneys they should use Mm -hmm. and um really what works best for us and we're going to take questions so it's your opportunity if you want to come to our session we would love to have you uh, and ask questions that's what we're there for to help people know how to work the technology side and if you're thinking about working with attorneys, they are a, a, bun- a group of people. Don't be afraid of them. They are very, te- a lot of them are tech backward. Not all. We went to CleoCon. It was rooms full of people who are looking towards the future. But yes. we do run across them that come to us. So they're still working in an old system. And we're, our job is to get them to move forward. And they rely on our expertise. Even a current client will rely on us for where things are going or what's coming down the pike. They ask us these questions, which I never would have believed in my journey as a bookkeeper or an accountant, that the person would come to me and ask me about technology, but they realize we are very tech forward as a group of people. And I think that's, I think that's wonderful. Like I want to be that person that's on top of technology when I'm, you know, a hundred years old, that's my goal. So, you know. Well, and to Sarah's point about you being the marketing expert on, on this side of the fence, Linda, you also are the glue that keeps this thing together professionally. I mean, you just, you, you help guide it. You help, you have great ideas right before we record. No, seriously. I mean, you, (laughs) I really respect you for that. And I thank you for that. And 
you mean a lot to me. I, I oh, think you know that. But, I can't wait to meet um, you in person because we have never met in person. Yeah. Sarah and I have got you. Not QVC. I've I never met Linda in person. I've never yeah. met Steve in person. The only member of our team I've met is Sarah. So it's going to cool. be like it's going to be like the adopted kid that got found, and you're and we're going to meet each other. Yes. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of hugging. A lot it's going to be a lot of hugging, nonstop yeah. hugging the entire time. The other thing that we want to do is we will have our microphones if you feel we compelled and you want to join in on some like little short fe video feeds we'd love to to have you on we want to connect with you we want yeah. to connect with our listeners yeah and and anyone else who Great is way. new to the platform that wants to come up say hi talk to us about things that we we want to engage we genuinely yes. enjoy it um and, and we are bringing some kind of small thank you gifts mm -hmm. to the people who are able to connect with us, um, you know, not run away from our little microphones, but we'll have a limited number of really, really fun swag bags that we're bringing. Um, and these are also going to be filled. This is kind of my special project. They're going to be filled with discount cards and, you know, kind of gifts from the guests that we've had on the podcast so far. So all the way up to our wonderful Miranda, whose episode will drop this week, the, that last week when this episode comes out, but as we're speaking now, <laughs> it will be out this week <laughs> in a second, um, speaking from the future, but just to, as a thank you to them for coming onto the podcast and and just really having such wonderful discussions with us. And we can see that it's so valuable to our listeners. So we're going to have a limited number of fun swag that we're going to be, you know, have have on hand with us. So if you if you see us coming at you, <laughs> um, take a moment. We'd love to chat with you. We want to connect with you and we want to kind of spread the word about the law pod even more while we're at QBC. And I think that's something we're really excited about. Especially if you're a listener, we'd love you to come up and, and talk to us. We we're trying to figure out what would be the best to serve the listeners. So we'd love to hear your feedback, uh, any suggestions of topics. Mm -hmm. We we actually brainstormed in the very, very beginning and it was a it was a blast. We pulled up a Google sheet and we just all started typing in topics and we had like the whole year planned out in a matter of like five minutes and now as we kind of think of things i think tiara like listens to us talk and she starts to add them in the ideas that we have for future ones but we'd love to hear from the listeners to hear what would be something that you'd like us to speak on because there's so many topics and they don't have to all be towards the you know the legal accounting they can be on marketing they can be on anything speaking to a client um, maybe you had a rough time of it with a client. How how do how should I handle it if that happens in the future? There's so many topics out there, and I think it's a great opportunity to stop and meet us. We would love to meet you and and just tell us what you'd like to hear. Absolutely, and I'm sure you're going to start hearing my voice a lot towards the end of podcast episodes, telling you where you can send us questions and suggestions and and interact with us either in our inbox or on our website, but you can also follow us on social media. We are on Instagram. We are on TikTok. I post a lot to Sarah's LinkedIn and Facebook. And, you know, so if, if you see her posting a lot, it's actually a big secret. Uh, it's actually, <laughs> but um, please, yeah, like, like she said, subscribe so you don't miss an episode click that like button, leave us a review and interact with the content. It's so it, it leaves such a big impact for us. It just brightens our day and it helps us grow the podcast and make it something that we think you'll really enjoy. And when you see it at, at see us at QBC, come say hi to these three celebrities. They're going to be together for the first time. And it's, I think it's going to be a really special moment, but yeah, please, please, please. That's perfect. Linda, let us know what you want to hear, what you want to see more of. And we can't wait to grow this with you. Ooh. And our little, little ask, and I don't know how we're going to do this is I asked Mel Robbins if she would be on our show. Oh, we I was waiting for this. <laughs> she did. The paperwork for it. Um, have we, you shared this story on the podcast yet, Sarah? <laughs> I don't, I don't know. It was, it was awesome. Like it was an amazing. Give moment. us a play by play. Paint me a Birmingham. How did this all go down that you tried to get? Well, Mel I'm actually head over here. I've been following her since what? 17. Sarah's a fan girl. She's like. When we were, in, we were in Nashville and yeah. Mel was at CleoCon, she's like, 
she's coming to speak at four o'clock and I'm going to stand in line at two. I want to be in the front of the yep. line. I'm not kidding you. She really was. Uh, unfortunately, she was in the wrong line. They moved <laughs> the whole signing thing. Which oh, is, <laughs> yeah, but that's okay. I was table. like, they I was what, three. I was number three. I have a picture that you need to post probably mm -hmm. um, of me getting signed with her, but it was the most amazing thing. I'm standing in line. I'm walking up. To, with, you know, I've got all these books to, to get signed and stuff. And she looks at me and she goes, girl, I love your glasses. And I was like, oh my God. And I froze. I, I'm like, Sarah, how can I freeze? So I'm like, oh, I love you, Mel. I can't believe it. And so I started telling her story because my mom and my um, taunt did this little thing. And I showed her pictures of what they did. They were highlighting up the sign. It was so, so cute. Linda and I witnessed the most fun things together with these two ladies. Um, and it was, and then, so I was just standing there and Jessica, one of our um, podcast guests who had met there and just enjoyed, just gotten herself, her book signed. And I just randomly screamed out, Mel, would you be on our podcast? And she's like, <laughs> uh, uh, yes, but you have to do X, Y, and Z. So we have to come up with a hashtag because I really want her to be on this oh, podcast. Mel Robbins, if you're listening, <laughs> if somehow you are listening to this podcast or seeing it. I'm going to throw a challenge out to you. I will come to wherever you live and I will mow your lawn. I will do your dishes. <laughs> you don't want I to mow her lawn. Her. It's big, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Please, Mel Robbins, everybody, we want you on our podcast. Please come visit us. This is the ultimate call to action, I think, for any of our listeners is... Like I said, inter interact with, with the podcast when you see it, tag mm -hmm. Mel Robbins, <laughs> oh <laughs> tag her goodness. on Instagram, tag her on LinkedIn. Like, yeah, there you go. Tag her, yeah, try yeah, to get her, yeah. her attention. Cause we would love to have her on the Well, podcast. and if you don't know her, please know her, subscribe. Know her. Yeah. She's amazing. She's a phenomenal content. speaker, especially her Ted talk. There's yeah. One that's super, super famous. And if you've super. never listened to it, highly And if you don't it. know what five, four, three, two, one is go find out. We're not going to tell you and it'll change your life. It will. It really will. It, I mean, it's done a, a wonder for us all. So, well, thank you for hosting this, putting this on for us today. We're so excited about QuickBooks. I know Linda and I feel so honored to have all of our team members there. It's just such a great heart filling moment to be able to offer this and have this. And so honored yeah. that they accepted our, I mean, not everybody got accepted and we're really honored that they accepted us as their uh, yeah. teachers at Connect and the fact that they really let us put our presentation together. And I'm just hoping a lot of people come. It's going to be Monday night at QuickBooks. Find us. It's Monday night, 4.30 to 5.30. Uh, it's a really good presentation. It's kind of a fireside chat with the three of us. And then Sarah and I are doing initial, another one, additional one on Wednesday on uh, HR. It was HR advisory. What they named it. They changed the name a few times. It's mostly advisory. So it's going to be more on how you can add some advisory into your repertoire, repertoire of skills when working with your mid-sized clients and it's a mm -hmm. uh, an important skill to get and it's not an easy one to get that mm -hmm. cross from doing everything and not getting paid for it to getting paid for it so we're going to be talking a little bit about some things that you might not think are advisory that really are and mm -hmm. how you can add them in and really help your client because that's where we're going to be in the space of so as technology ex ex excels and accelerates and gets more in depth in our job it's going to free up time for that one on one to really help your client become profitable in your in your in their firm so that's our job to help them and i think that they want the help they need the help and this is going to be a lot about that kind of a shift to get there and it's on, that's on Wednesday at 4.30. So both our sessions are on at 4.30 in the afternoon, Monday and Wednesday. So we'd love to see you and join mm -hmm. us and hang out with us and, and hear our presentations, ask questions. We'd love to answer your questions too. So Tia, you get to take us away live. Oh my gosh, I do get to take you guys away live. Let me um, just subtly find my script. <laughs> Yeah. I know I didn't really give you that. I didn't give you that long, like, let's go, you know, heads up. Well, you can usually I'm usually I'm very prepared, but I'm a little out of my element today. So mm -hmm. <laughs> forgive me, but I have it. I have it up now. So here at live and 
You get to see the beautiful face behind the voice. Oh, you guys are so kind. <laughs> well, as we've been saying, to support the Accountants Law Pod, please, please, please take a moment to like this episode and all the episodes that you've loved. Share this episode with your colleagues and with your friends. And most importantly, subscribe to this podcast. You can follow us on YouTube or wherever you find your favorite podcasts. And as we said, subscribing to the podcast helps all of us because you'll never miss an episode and we can continue to grow and learn and just see where this wonderful podcast takes us. If you have any questions, topic requests, or guest suggestions, you can email us at info at accountantslawpod.com or send us a message through our website, accountantslawpod.com, or come find us at QuickBooks Connect and yes. give us your notes, give us your, your questions and your comments. We would love, love, love to interact with you while we're there. Mm -hmm. We didn't mention it today, but if you'd like to join us in the Accountants Law Lab, which meets every Friday, visit our website at accountantslawlab.com to sign up. It's really easy. It's right there at the top corner. And thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for, for letting me join you guys today. I feel like thank I'm you. part of the school kids club. Yeah, thank of you. course. Thank always. You. Thank you. We're on Lifeline. What are you talking about? <laughs> 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 well, bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye. bye.